Unpacking, I need to take off, a journey through English phrases. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to our channel where we dive into the fascinating world of English language learning. Today, we're exploring a phrase you've probably heard quite often, I need to take off. At first glance, it seems straightforward. But as we'll see, it's packed with meanings and uses. So, let's unravel this together and make your English communication even smoother. When we first hear, I need to take off, the image that might come to mind is an airplane starting its journey across the skies. Literally, to take off, means to begin to fly. This physical action of leaving the ground is where our exploration begins, but as we'll discover, the phrase ascends into various figurative meanings. Moving beyond the literal, I need to take off, often steps into the figurative realm, conveying the need to leave a place or depart from a situation. This departure could be urgent or simply a matter of routine. It's a versatile phrase that fits various contexts, whether you're leaving a party early or excusing yourself from a meeting. Example 1. Social gatherings. Imagine you're at a friend's house for dinner, and it's getting late. Saying, I need to take off, is a polite, informal way to announce your departure without delving into specifics. It's understood as a need to go home or move on to another engagement. Example 2. Professional settings. In a work context, I need to take off, can also signal the end of your participation in a meeting or your workday. Here, it might be followed by a reason, such as, to catch a train, or, to pick up my kids. It's a casual yet universally understood way to explain your exit. While widely recognized, the phrase's casual nature makes it more suitable for informal or semi-formal contexts. In very formal settings, alternatives like, I must depart, or, I need to leave, might be more appropriate. Understanding these nuances is key to effective communication across different English-speaking cultures. Now that you're familiar with, I need to take off, it's time to practice. Try using it in different scenarios. Leaving a casual meetup with friends. Excusing yourself from a video call. Ending a casual business meeting. Remember, the more you practice, the more naturally it will come to you in conversation. And that's a wrap on, I need to take off. We've seen how this simple phrase can lift off from the literal to enrich our conversational skills. We hope this video helps you navigate the skies of English language learning with more confidence. Keep practicing, and don't hesitate to take off into new linguistic adventures. See you in the next video.